Bucks look back at games that have already been completed. So keep an eye out for that. But for now, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. Now Hardy on the return. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Now Ryan on second down. Escaping, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Cameron Jordan in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Jordan coming off a Pro Bowl campaign in 2017. Third time he's had that honor. And he continues to play better and better as his career extends. Think about it this way. Fourth in the league last year in sacks with 13. Helped the New Orleans Saints defense improve overall and helped lead them to the playoffs. And now he shares Pro Bowl honors with his father, Steve, who was a Pro Bowl tight end in the NFL. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And that's a Threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary. Incomplete pass. When are these quarterbacks going to learn? You don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football. Here's Ginn. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at about the 32. To throw, it's Breeze. And that is incomplete here. A CD switching gears for a second. You know, after last year, seven NFL head coaches were relieved of their duties. And in week one of this season, those seven coaches went 0-7. They fared a little better, though, in week two. They certainly did. Finally got into the win column. Three of those happened. One in Chicago, one in Tennessee, and one in Indianapolis. Finally getting off the schneid. The other guys trying to get it done in week three. Yeah, including John Gruden. Curious to see when he gets his first victory out west. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. The 15 yards there on the catch and run. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast and open. He finds a way to pick up a first down. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. It'll be a two-yard gain, and they're going to face a third down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have the center-eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. Over the middle to Smith. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. And it pops free. The 
collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now, Breeze again. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Over the middle complete. That's Smith. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. to the football. It's blocked. Those really long field goals, when they are made, they are things of beauty, but there is a dive. You've got to really keep it low to the ground, don't you, to get that distance. Yeah, hard to just pop it up in the air because otherwise it's not going to get there. So he's got to drive it low in order to have the distance, and that usually puts it in jeopardy, gives him a chance to block it, and everyone knows it on the other side. That's when you get your best jumpers on the other side of the field to try and get up and get it. So now a chance for points in the opposite direction after the blocked field goal. From the gun, it's Ryan. Flush to his right. Completes it to Coleman. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. A hat tip to P.J. Williams there defensively, making sure that one didn't find its target. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. Because they have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. over the middle deep and this is intercepted and that should do it picked off by Marcus Williams and a great return as they're finally able to take him down partner we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games and now in this situation throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in that one's gonna hurt and in a big way They begin on the ground with Kamara. Runs through the contact. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And now a timeout defensively by the Falcons. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Again with Kamara. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. And his defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in a two minute warning. Ready. Ready. 
Breeze going to try and throw on third down. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. And now here comes the third of their timeouts defensively. So they'll be left with only the two-minute warning to stop it from here on out. And this will be taken at the 13. A great return there of 22 yards. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Matt Ryan in the offense heading back onto the field. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, you two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near-perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors, yet still play perfect football. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. Cameron Jordan in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So it's Falcon football as we went with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. From the shotgun, Ryan. Caught on the right side by Jones. 23 yards on the play. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Here's Ryan. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. A good convergence there defensively. Only a yard, and it's second down. Hey, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Here's Ryan. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Time to his left. Scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. 47 is the fight. 47 is the fight. Here we go. It's Ryan on fourth down. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. The Saints in victory formation now as they'll take the knee. 